Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play StarCraft 2 The Wings of Liberty. In the last video, I'm pretty sure we completed the final um, level in Zero Tools' little weird crystal device of future telling and happiness. Um, so, I, I, I think we're going to be going back to the Terran missions, which will be very, very interesting and, and fun to, to hang with our, our main squad of units, at least for this game in particular. I don't know how many missions are left in the entire game, but I'd imagine it's probably going to be like finding whatever next piece of the artifact there is, even if there even are any more pieces. And then probably like the last finishing touches to whatever's left of the game, so I'm sorry to say, but I'd imagine it's coming pretty close to the end. But there is also very, very good news as well. I recently discovered something new um, in regards to recording these videos that I will actually mention once we are actually in a mission, because that's the best time to mention it. So let's see what's on the news first, uh, before I continue onwards here. Yeah. Hankering for some down home cooking out there in the space lanes? Come on down to Bubba's Gas and Grub. We got two for Tuesdays, featuring barbecue muta wings. Also, free plasma charge with each villa. Bubba's Gas and Grub, your space trucker home away from home. Hey, they have a green version of our little dancing hologram up there. That's pretty cool. I guess she's a, a popular one or something like that, but I know. I've got a hankering for some mutalisk wing or whatever the hell they were talking about right there. Um, probably should actually go to the bridge last. I don't know why I jumped here next. Armory console, we've got enough, we've got enough cash for, or credits for, I'm pretty sure, like, any upgrade in the entire game. Not, well, any of the remaining ones. Oh, what the hell, cowboy? You look like crap. You been thinking about that girl again? Kinda. I just got some bad news about what might happen if we can't save her. Ugh. <sighs> No use worrying about what might happen, if you ask me. If you want me to help, you just let me know. I'm not sure there's a way you can help, Swan. But, uh, thank you for offering. So, as I was saying, I actually clicked on Swan way prematurely. I don't know if there's going to be, um... Any other major upgrades that we'll actually want to pick up, but we'll definitely have to go ahead and consider them. Really should still consider the siege tank stuff, but probably we'll actually get either a viking or a wraith upgrade before then. Everything's done with both ghosts and thors. Hopefully we'll actually be able to like uh, heavily focus on building ghosts on this next mission because I think I would have a lot of fun with that. Seeing as we haven't really, like, built a whole army of them, but I would love to build a whole army of Diamondbacks again. It's been way too long since we used those things. Since we've all uh, been playing as the Protoss so frequently. Um, Reapers would be nice, but I also don't really care about that upgrade, as you guys know. SCVs, I think that's what we got to. This one is the Fire Suppression? Yeah. Don't care about that too much. Hopefully we won't ever need to defend our buildings that, um that desperately, or, or, I mean, defend our, our buildings and repair them. SCPs repair twice as fast. Okay, so that alone should be a super, super good upgrade. Multiple SCPs, SCVs can build structures. Let's go ahead and just get that for the time being. Because, um, especially if we are game back into action, um, we, I, it would not surprise me if that is something that is going to be unbelievably valuable to our efforts and stuff like that so we can't afford anything else probably could actually once we go down to the laboratory here it, 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 did we get any credits on the last mission yes we did 3,000 right there awesome I mean 30,000 60,000 in total so so that's very very good for us I just want to come down here one more time and access the research thing for the credits for one but then also on top of that, I want to re-look look over all of these upgrades because we've gotten a lot of upgrades without actually being able to use them because we've been doing so many Protoss missions. So, um, we now have the automated refinery, of course. We also have the, the science vessel. Yeah, so a support unit can't detect cloaked and burrowed enemy units. Really, really want to get one of those guys. Yeah, it was between the raven and the science vessel. I don't think the science vessel is in multiplayer, but as of late, uh, it's been a while since I played Terran in multiplayer. I usually play the Protoss because they're my favorite race in the game, and I actually think I am game relatively okay at them, at, le at least in regards to uh, my gameplay skill at this game in general, which is not very high. Then we also have the one with the, the drop pods. I actually was reconsidering this, and Tech Reactor might be a bit better all in all, because I did forget that this is only for barracks and barracks alone, but still, still, th this is gonna be the one that's gonna be a little bit more flashy 
So, um, I, I think that this is the better upgrade. I, I mean, it could be the better upgrade for, for the Let's Play in general. But Tech Reactor, thinking about it, I, that actually is, is so much stronger because, um, combines the Tech Lab and the Reactor. Yeah, 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 because uh, the, the Terrans, they are, oh, that's for all structures? I didn't realize that was also for starports and, uh, uh, engineering bays or whatever they're called. That is, that is so powerful. Oh, why didn't I get that? Now I really wish I got that. That's, that makes me sad. There's no way to unresearch you. It does not appear so. Oh, that was my mistake. But anyways, as I was saying, um, I, for, for rushing, like, uh, rush strat, the rush strat in this game where you try to build up a really, really huge army and take out your enemy incredibly fast. From what I understand, Ter my, my friend Bluno actually was telling me about this, Terrans are by far, um, the strongest in that regards. Um, and of course a big, big piece of that is the tech, uh, lab. Or, I mean, the reactor, uh, not the tech lab. Uh, b because, um, what are they called? Reapers! Reapers are just so, so powerful with rushdown in this game. So if you could double the speed of producing reapers, you would be pretty much, like, unstoppable in this game. So I actually really, really regret getting Orbital Strike. But you know what? Orbital Strike will look cool and we'll be happy with that. So I got to test out Orbital Strike, Science Vessel, that one will be easy to test out the refinery because we just won't have to do anything. Um, then we have hive mind defensive structure can permanently okay. Yeah, we gotta get that hive mind emulator um, Special specialist units 100 starring. Okay, that's nothing and we still need to test out the Hercules as well That would be a really really cool thing. What happens if we look at this? Do we get to oh no, it's just a little just a little bit of information. Okay, that's pretty cool Not not really anything that I want to access, but um, I don't know if any of you are interested in that then they'll be Fine and dandy, got a bunch of credits again. Let's just hold on to those, though. I don't really care about spending them right now. And talk to good old Horner. He looked shaken, sir. What's wrong? Zeratul called it a vision of the future. It was the end times, Matt. Armageddon. More Protoss than we ever knew existed. But there still weren't enough to stop the hybrid. But what about Kerrigan? Wasn't she supposed to stop them? In this timeline, she was dead killed by us. That's what Zeratul's been trying to tell us all along. She has to live, or we're all doomed. All right, T.O., well, it looks like we'll have to do something about that then. But anyways, we are en route for our next mission. Only one to go. Trador! Trador 8. Interesting. Let's go ahead and see what's going on here. Medivax! Is your queen of blades figured out who been paying us to snatch up all them artifacts. Mobius is hit honcho Dr. Narun claims a Zerg are attacking his main research campus on Tirador. You can't evacuate his people until all their artifact research is safe. Okay, so it's a holdout mission. Hold out, defend, and then evacuate once the time runs out. That'll be fun. I always love those types of missions, and we are going to have bank by the end of this one, so we'll be able to spend a lot of cash on upgrades. Like I said, I don't think there's a real need to do upgrades before this. Ooh, this guy looks cool! Oh, Commander Vayner. Thanks to stars you've come. You had a sterling reputation as a marshal many years ago, and I know you'll do your best to help us. Yeah, well, that was all a long time ago, Doctor. Looks like you've got one heck of a Zerg problem here. Where do you need us? We're ready to evacuate. But none of the teams I sent to purge the Foundation data cores have reported back. I need you to destroy those cores before the Queen of Blades finds them and discovers the coordinates of the remaining artifacts. The fate of the entire sector could hang in the balance. Class 12 side pattern detected. Recommend extreme caution. Ah, shoot, we got Kerrigan. All right then, Doc. Our timetable shorter than we thought. We gotta move. Okay, maybe this won't be a holdout mission. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what exactly is going to be going on here. Oh, but I'm really, really excited to start this one because of the, the change that's happened in my uh, method of recording since the last 
video and all that jazz. It's really, really, really gonna help my gameplay quite immensely and make make the whole experience much, much, much more fun. And I, I, I loved recording the, these these games before. This is one of my favorite series on the channel for sure. But it's it's gonna be even more fun now. I, I really can't wait. Apparently this is like the longest loading level in the entire game though. I don't know why it's taking so long. I've got really uh freaking beefy fast machine too. So I'd I'd imagine this thing will have been done long before, but apparently not. <clears throat> Music's game pretty intense. It's like, oh yeah, this is the greatest loading screen of all time. What's going on? Cool dice. So apparently we don't have a cutscene right off the bat. We, what? Oh, that thing was already built for us. Okay, so we're already getting some, and we're getting. Search pattern complete. Calculating her ETA to the closest data call now. You can't leave well enough alone, can you, Jim? It was stupid of you to come here. I don't plan on staying long, darling. But I'll be damned before I let you get hold of those artifacts. Okay, so, awesome new thing that's going on right here. I figured out how to record in full screen, which is surprisingly easy, uh, believe it or not. I'm giving you control of our medevacs, Commander. You can use them to transport your men around the city and avoid most of the Zerg. Ready for dust off. Awesome! Thank you, my good sir! Then we'll probably go ahead and use uh, these guys as our control group one, which will... Oh, no. What the fudge? Take down the enemies! Okay, those are additional friends. I wasn't sure if they were going to be good or bad. So, um, I don't know if it is actually a good thing to, to like, fly guys in down at the bottom of the map. Um, where all the enemies are, but I think that actually should be perfectly fine. So one's on the roof. Oh, because I already beamed someone down? Is that what happened there? I don't know what's going on. Whatever. Oh, God, I'm throwing these guys right into, like, death, destruction, and everything horrible for them. Uh, but, but yeah, 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 I figured out how to record in full screen in this game, which is gonna make things so much nicer now, because I won't have to constantly swap my fingers from being on the arrow keys to actually be able to move the map. I can actually uh, freely move my, my mouse cursor to the sides of the screen and move the map uh, that way like you are supposed to when playing this game. So my gameplay as a whole, I'm imagining, should be like immensely better. Although, oh shoot, I actually did not want to call down one of those guys. I need a, I, I've been playing too much Protoss. All my, all my hotkeys are like messed up in my head and I don't really know what does what anymore. So did some guys fly in down here? I honestly can't quite tell. Maybe they flew in and then immediately died. Um, actually, that's probably what happened. I may, oh no, I, maybe I just didn't build any of them in general. I'm not sure about that. Whatever. I I, I want to test out that flying thing, so we're gonna keep on moving our guys out the way we are. There's some dudes up there that we should be able to utilize nicely, so that'll be good for us. Kill all enemies. Or uh oh damn. I didn't know that thing would do quite that much damage, so the medevacs wouldn't be able to uh, even fully heal him. So let's actually back these dudes out. Just make sure to keep them safe. Should have done that with the first guy as well, but I actually thought that we would have enough dudes so we wouldn't have to worry about that. Oh god, an Ultralisk! That's a little bit frightening. God, that guy sounds so freaking cool. I don't know if the- oh, the medevac! That's what we've got to use. Okay, let's- let's grab our- that's a Goliath. Okay, not a Viking. Cool. Oh no! Oh no! Survive, friends! Survive! They're gonna die immediately! Okay, well, apparently it was a very, very bad idea to bring them there. Maybe I should have pulled them back, but let's go ahead and get one of our medevacs here. Um, L is for picking people up, I suppose? Oh, cool! That is so freaking awesome. I actually am not very familiar with medevac play, um, because I'm awful at video games and uh, this game in particular. And actually, e even more than that, I, do I honestly don't really play, uh, I, I, I don't really play Terran all that much uh, outside of the main game. Oh, we need to pick everyone up and get flying. Okay, that's a little bit unfortunate. Um, we're probably gonna continue to lose dudes down there, but you know, so this is the way we should do things. Um, oh, we need more supply depots as well. Okay, we're at 14. That's where I usually like to sit for the houses. What is it for these? Okay, it's it's that S. Okay, cool. 
So let's go ahead and get building once again. This guy can go ahead and build us uh, a new refinery. I thought it was <laughs> I thought it was B A since I've been playing way too much Prodos as of late. And then let's go ahead and start uh, planning some additional expansions. We'll get a tech lab right there and probably another tech lab right there. We could build our Hercules. We're probably gonna build the science vessel first though because I really really would love to go ahead and uh, test out that thing and, and see exactly how it works. So. Pick up everyone around this area. Let's see. It looks like one medevac is going to actually be able to uh, be able to pick up everyone. So that's pretty freaking cool. Oh no 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 no! Oh, that's not good. I can sense you're trying to keep something from me. Drop him! Drop him quick, man! No! Oh no! That killed everyone that was inside. I did not realize that that was gonna happen. Okay, well we gotta get the other meta back over here. That was a very, very, very poor move on my part and now we're going to lose like our entire army. Oh, that was a critical failure to say the least. That, that, that was, that was my bad. Um, really should not have done that. Okay, well, the, you know what then? We should go ahead and start focusing on actually building up armies instead for the most part. Um, let's go ahead and get Science Vessel because I'm not exactly entirely sure what those guys do to be completely honest we could also get some wraiths i'm pretty sure we're not supposed to have them at this point but we'll just go ahead and mosey on as as per uh uh as per the regular nonsense that we have going on here we might want to get some thors of course we do have to build an armory first if we do if we are going to want to do any of that there nonsense i'm not sure if we will want to do that right away i love these refinery changes or the, the automated refinery, you just get so many resources for that, it's so nice. And then let's go ahead and do, uh, do a little P, do a little D, do a little H, and a little bit of a C as well. Those are the Vikings, okay, cool, cool, cool. Hell's Angels are the Vikings, so that means we're calling down some glass instead. Definitely actually would prefer to have the glass at this point rather than anything else. We've got much more minerals than we actually uh, need at this current moment, especially with additional guys. Um, uh, continuing, uh, continuing to gather whatever minerals we need. Oh, what is up with this? Okay, so N is just heal? Yeah, yeah, so, so apparently Science Vessel can heal dudes. It, it can heal anything! It can heal structures as well? Uh, it, whoa. Irritates. Irritates a single target, causing damage over time to target. These Science Vessel dudes are amazing! Affirmative, sir. Affirmative, sir. Okay, so I'm gonna get, like, all of these guys. I... I kind of do remember uh, them being one of my favorite units in um, the previous uh, version of the game. So, you know what? We probably only need two. Uh, let's get two medevacs and two of those guys. I don't know if that'll be enough to carry on everyone, but I think that actually uh, should be pretty good. Since these science vessels definitely cannot lift units, we will need to concern ourselves with um, using the medevacs for all of that. So let's go ahead and start lifting, guys. Let's go ahead and get the um, the big I units that. first, I think. Uh, might not be the Strap smartest in. idea, but it's probably good to keep a lot of these Marines back home um, so they can actually defend the base if needs be. Fast, the queen bitch over there is getting awful close. Wow, so a rude. Oh shoot, she actually is moving out towards that building. I did not realize, oh no, she's already there. Fly! Fly vessel! I have had like no idea how this mission works apparently. She is like destroying that thing. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we need to drop everyone off right here. No, the, the, these guys. Drop. Yeah, drop everyone. Drop everyone. And then everyone commence to quit. Kill the Queen of Blades! Kill her! Kill her! Or attack the building instead? I, I guess we attack it? I'm not- I'm honestly not entirely sure what we're doing here, but I guess we're attacking the building instead. The Mobius Foundation there! One down. Keep it moving. Okay, so we are actually destroying the buildings. The Mobius Danacors. You won't get the rest of them. Yeah, I'll do whatever I can, Kerrigan, to- to thwart your evil plans. We better get to the next one fast. Oh, I actually totally did not make these guys- Oh, no way! They can't walk out of there, you freaking idiots! Okay, well, we have, like, basically no units yet. We need a second, uh, one of those guys so we can actually, um, 
do more in regards to succeeding here. Here, let's let's grab our medevac and let these dudes out of there. Okay. Um, I don't feel incredibly confident about fighting one of those things right off the bat, but that actually might be a good plan uh, for us. I am like totally flustered in this video, and I'm making like all the worst mistakes. Oh no, an abandoned building right there. Okay. Um, but that's just a random building, not one of the data cores, so I actually feel relatively good about that. something about that Nidus worm before our base gets overrun. Nidus? Oh, there's a Nidus worm by our base. Oh god, yeah, right there. Okay, we need more dudes and we need them quick. Build, 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 build. Um, science vessel, go out, go out, go out, and get ready to start healing people, my good sir. Do everything you can! Uh, maybe he actually can't heal regular dudes. I honestly don't know. But there we go. We're, we're getting siege tanks going. We're getting Vikings coming in. They're gonna help us as well. Let's get those siege tanks moving into a really, really good defensive position, since that's gonna be unbelievable, unbelievably helpful for, uh, defending our main good old base. One right there, one right there. Um, the Vikings aren't quite coming in, but the rest of the dudes are getting near a cooldown. So let's get, um, yeah, that's our other science vessel right there, so I don't think I want any more. Let's go ahead and get some, um, ah, uh, we need more, what the fudge? Get out of here! Get out of here, you freaking parasite! Stop spreading your little splooge, blooge, magrooge all over here. I hate Overlord so much. Okay, so we need more supply depots. You could work on one right there, and then you, my good sir, can work on one right there. Um, I don't think those buildings need repairing. I don't know what was going on right there, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, Nidus Worm is still chilling, so I think it's a good time to go ahead and send, uh, these dudes down. And get to work on removing that, because, uh, we shouldn't have too much of a problem with that at all, I, I think. So then, uh, this is all control group one, 14 people. Let's actually get this guy in there as well. All of you, control group one. Okay. Then you can go ahead and mosey on down there as well, Mr. Science, uh, alternate vessel man. I think you'll do a pretty good job of that. Kerrigan is actually still working on, like, stealing this building. Um, kind of sucks that she is going to continue doing that, but I think we actually should be pretty, pretty freaking fine. Oh my god, what the hell is that? What it what oh those are some uh some of the flying dudes and dudettes okay I thought that that was some weird like monstrous creature awesome they're healing each other that's exactly what I wanted okay you never could recognize a lost cause could you Jim so now basically we have an unstoppable force of destruction and doom uh Kerrigan last time like completely wrecked all of our forces after she like destroyed one of those buildings. Or at least I believe she did. She at least she at least did some weird kind of big explosion thing. So I think we definitely want to try to avoid her as much as we can. I feel a little bit bad. Um oh that bridge is actually wrecked. You know what, whatever. I I I think we'll walk these dudes over here, have them commence in whatever combat they can, and then after that point they will actually go ahead and start uh beating up our enemies. So let's have them just chill right there. Let's uh put the Vikings on the ground. We'll land these guys. We're gonna use them as ground units for pretty much the uh majority of this. I I I think at least. I think that would be our best our best good old strat for trying to succeed. So you go ahead and build that right there. You build one right there. Probably should get an armory before too long. I don't think we necessarily need any extra units. Probably should actually get a tech lab going there also. But, um, not my biggest concern, at least as of this current moment. Then we can continue moving out. We don't quite have as much minerals as I would like. Vespian gas is literally not a worry in the entire world. So you know what, let's go ahead and get some more uh, SCVs going. Probably three, three of them will be fine. I used to have my own personal, like, kind of magic number for those guys at, um, like, 14. But I think, wait, what? Oh, shoot, if I just click them, they all get brought in like that? That is so much nicer. Okay, well, um, you can drop off right there, and you could drop off right there. And then Science Vessel, you do your little R maneuver. Same with you. R, R him. Oh no, we lost him. We lost both of our medevacs. That sucks so bad. What, what does the R thing even do? Hit him. R him. It's awful. <laughs> the R attack seems to be absolutely awful. Oh no, no, no. They actually have anti-air defenses as well. We just lost like all of our dudes there and we're not even going to take out that brute. So that's really awful. God, apparently I'm bad at this game now. Don't lose a supply guy as well. A, I mean, a science vessel as well. Okay, so they should be able to heal each other. Um, 
really, really upset we didn't kill that guy and lost, like, a whole bunch of units in, in, uh, in that time as well. Here's a bunch of Zerglings going. Go, go, go. Meandering about! Good news is we do have a lot of dudes, uh, building up for us. So let's get two more of them. Science Depot guys should be able to- actually, let's even get three. Science Depot guys should be perfectly fine where they are, at least I believe. And I'm gonna take a risk here. Let's actually go ahead and grab our three, um, grab our, our, our three Vikings and we'll just send them out on their own mission of, uh, destruction and damnation for all of our enemies. You're even more desperate than I thought. Oh, don't you be rude, really Garrigan. This plan of yours has even a chance of working. All my plans have a chance of working because I'm the great and powerful Jim Raynor, Garrigan. I, my, 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 even... Plans that involve butt munching, which is totally something that Jim Raynor doesn't do, but I don't know, maybe he'd feel like butt munching on a, on a different day. Okay, we need to take this thing down quick. Get out of here. I'd say I don't think there is a reason to get rid of him right now. I'm still going to because um, I really don't want him expanding on this uh, spot, especially with that pretty little like memorial right there. Okay, these guys can repair tech, so let's actually get them joining in. They'll kind of stand back. But we actually might be- oh, we're totally gonna take down that thing! Okay, with that thing down, then I think these guys are gonna be a- uh, uh, these science vessels are gonna be a perfect defense for- for our- our Vikings! Especially since our Vikings are like super duper powerful, uh, with their upgrade- I mean, seeing as they are actually, uh, mercenary Vikings! You are getting out of there! Run! Run! Oh, he got so close to death! He got so close! But we did it! Vikings OP, man! Vikings OP! Especially when they're comboed with science vessels. Ultimate, glorious, wonderful science vessels. So that's our research. Um, yeah, that, yeah, that's like all the research done. That is cool. So let's actually go ahead, grab these guys. Um, actually we'll grab them and put as many as we can into that one, the rest into that one. Uh, come on. Uh, th this marine can totally get in there. Go, buddy! There we go. Okay. So now the remaining Goliaths can stay home and just function- Oh, no, never mind. We're getting more Goliaths out. We're, 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 we're getting ready for the ultimate attack force. Uh, to be completely honest, right here. So those guys can all gather together. Um, Vikings, let's get you back into air mode. So uh, they'll be able to protect the science vessels if need be. And then let's actually get all these guys going into the same spot. So they could all protect the medevacs. And uh, then the medevacs can drop dudes off. And we could basically destroy the entire world uh, without any worries. Hey, Kerrigan. Nice to see you. It's a long time no see. Last time you tried to, like, eliminate all of our people. Look at this poor little dead man right there. The poor, 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 poor guy. Unfortunately, no one was able to, uh, to help him or anything like that. Honestly, with the medevacs, um, um, I feel a little bit good about not getting any, any medics instead. Oh, you know what we're gonna do? This is gonna be awful, but I really, really want to focus on a mission with, like, all ghosts. So, um, once we... Actually, we don't, need, we don't even need to wait. Let's just go ahead and get uh, get to business right now. Now that those are done, eliminate all of those, work on the tech lab, and then we're gonna get ghosts. We also need a Shadow Ops, though, so let's... Oh, no! One of our Vespian Kaisers are gone. That's so sad. Okay, you... We... It's it's high time we get started working on buildings, and we, we actually really should have done that a long time ago. So what's the fast way? Oh, there's the hive mine! Just needs an engineering base. Let's actually get an engineering bay next. Um, because the engineering bay is so freaking good as well, we could also go ahead and start shutting all of those things down, and then I think we are more than ready to go ahead and start going on the move. So, um, yeah, we're gonna be able to destroy this building quite easily, I think. Ah, uh, shoot, not, not with that thing there, not with that thing there at all. Uh, so many, so many anti-air defenses, they're all over the place. Okay, well, we might be able to drop off our dudes safely. Oh, no, we're told. oh god, oh god, oh god, get out of there, buddies. Hey, look, uh, this is actually a Terran base up here. Oh, this is so interesting! I was not expecting any, uh, weird, cool stuff right here, because there's a command center. Is there anything else over here that is, uh, fun and exciting to look at? Not really, but you know what, that's perfectly fine. Okay, let's grab all of our medevacs. We will drop them right there. Uh, you, no, you as well, and then you, there we go, that's actually super, oh, oh, there's the dancing lady! 
That's cool. Um, okay, so then we could actually, I think, go ahead and have our uh, Vikings uh, go into landing mode as well, since they're, 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 they're I, I, I don't think we need super strong, capable air force at this, at this point. I think the land units is, is much more, um, valuable for, for the time being, at least. Take down that thing. Take it down! It should not be able to kill the medevacs, so I feel a little bit safe in regards to having the medevac medevacs in range, because our, our, um, science vessels should be doing much, much more damage to them than they are to us. Oh, another friend! Hello, friendly friend! Okay, I guess everyone's piling into the medevacs once again. Makes me a little bit irked, because I would prefer to just, uh, utilize the guys where they are, but you know what, that's Let's fine. E.E. E. And then, where's the final one? He's right there. Oh no, that's a Goliath! Oh no, there's a Viking in one of these that shouldn't be. Where's the Viking? There's Goliaths, there's a Goliath, and there's a Viking. Get on out of there, bro! Uh, then you... At, where, where, where is he? Where is he? <laughs> They're too clustered. Oh my god, okay, well, you get in there, everyone move aside, we need to get moving so Kerrigan... There we go, you go into flight mode, there we go. Now everyone can move on over here, should be a pretty simple, easy drop point. Oh, there's not really an easy way. Oh god, we're being attacked. Okay, let's let's just drop everyone off here. It, it, it'll suck if we lose dudes. I mean, no, 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 not land. Drop, 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 and then uh, you guys... No, 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 not fly. Drop, drop. Oh my god, drop! No! Stop! Oh my god, this is a disaster. Drop! Drop! We need to destroy this before Kerrigan does any freaking nonsense! This is the worst thing in the world. Oh my god, now we're, now we're losing the science vessels too because I have the world's worst micro, but whatever, that's fine. Destroy the buildings, destroy the buildings. That's the first uh, the thing that we definitely need to focus down right away. That means we get some more medevacs going. Th this has been, oh wow, not that many. Uh, this has by far been like my mer my worst microed uh, video in a long, long, long time, so I apologize for that. Grab all of you. Was the building destroyed yet? No, it hasn't been, but it's about to be. Cool. I see Kerrigan, stop being a jerk. <laughs> stop it. Run. Run, science vessel. Good work, my friend. Okay, good, good, good. We stopped that before Kerrigan could do anything about it. So let's let's keep on getting rid of their units. Um, the really the only dudes that we have to worry about immensely. is quite a nuisance, isn't she? That you're. That is putting it, like, unbelievably lightly, my good sir. We need some more super strong units, and there's no super strong ger units. Then, of course, our good old, um, good old mercenaries. So let's pretty much, like, call out all the mercenaries in the world, because I freaking love these guys. Uh, first things first, we're actually going to select these guys, and we'll put them into defensive positions as well. Nice to see that we have actually not really had any need for bunkers whatsoever. That that certainly makes me happy, especially with these mercenary um siege tanks. You you just like do not need any bunkers for for land unit defenses at least. Another night is worm chilling with us, but those bunkers are gonna be able to take him down. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. That's gonna be super cool for us. Um, let's go ahead and then get the science shadow ops built. We need a couple more minerals. Oh no! We're we're, we're like run dry on minerals, so these are our final units. We need to we need to finish up our our job here much quicker than we have been then so let's go ahead and oh get get out of here get out of here you thank you goliaths thank god they have enough range to go ahead and take those dudes down because otherwise they're going to be unbelievably irritating so our dudes down there are actually being attacked they should be able to uh live perfectly fine I really, really hate those brood mothers or whatever they're called. I, I, no, those guys aren't the brood mothers. But what are those units called? I actually, unfortunately, don't have my big old like list of uh, information about the units in this game anymore. So there isn't really much that I can look up in regards to that. We should be able to take down these units without a worry. Get out of here! Are those things like brood lords? Is that what they're called? I'm honestly not entirely sure. I wish I was, but I'm not. We are being attacked. Sure, looks like it was taken down without much of any problems though, so that's nice for us. 
I think at this point we should actually just go ahead and start uh, yes, just gathering the remaining minerals and then kind of ignoring uh, everything else that we have to do. It's gonna be a bit of a while before the science vessel is ready to go, so let's actually just grab all these dudes and get ready for them. Um, except for, of course, the Vikings. There should be Vikings in here, correct? No? I thought we had Vikings, but I guess uh, we weren't able to purchase any of them. Okay, cool. So those are gonna be all of our, our units for this guy. Get back. Stop. Stop. Stop being so needy. <laughs> those guys. I'm just like following them all over the place. Uh, okay, never mind. You know what? Let's let's wait for this thing because this thing is almost ready to go. In the meantime, uh, the units right here will be able to keep on fighting the good fight to say the least. Um, are those Vikings? No, those are super-powered Goliaths. Awesome. Oh, no, no, no! Back up, back up, back up, back up! Oh, that was so close to losing that guy. And that guy is gonna be, like, unbelievably useful at this point, seeing as, um... Uh, we don't really have all that many minerals to spare at this point. Uh, let's go ahead and take down this thing. We really, really, really need to stop Kerrigan super quick. Um, she must not access the data core. Yeah, so if she accesses that, the... the the level is pretty much lost, I'm pretty sure. So, let's go ahead, grab these dudes, because the more units, the better. Thank you, friends, for becoming a part of the group. So now, we really, really, really need to move fast. So let's grab these guys. Unfortunately, they need to take the long way around, because I don't want them to take any damage. I think we actually did eliminate pretty much all of the uh, anti-air uh, that the Zurich have down here, though. So we should be able to get uh, over quick and easy along this way. I don't want to bypass Kerrigan unless she's gonna get distracted by a building, which she is! So that makes me happy about that. Oh god, Science Vessel's taking damage. I got him way, way too close to the other ones. So now we are as actually going to have to wait a little bit again because I want these two Science Vessels to be healing each other. I want them to get back to full. Um, but that doesn't mean that we can't get our army moving. So let's actually take these guys and we'll move them out first. Of course, that means they're not going to be getting any healing, so they're going to be a bit at risk. But I think that they should be able to handle uh, quite a lot of this without any worries. If, if we lose the... the... the um... Our, our basic... the Marines right off the bat, that's going to be okay. It's going to be sad, but honestly, it's something that I'm going to kind of expect at this point. Oh god, we got an Ultralisk. Run, 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 run! Run! And drop! Drop units! Drop units! Drop units! Kill him now! <laughs> kill him now and kill it fast! Heal! Heal, 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 heal! Okay, cool, cool, cool. That actually was not that bad. Drop units once again, drop units, and that one is completely dropped. Cool. So... This should be, like, oh no, okay, our siege tanks are taking a little bit of damage, but they're going to be perfectly fine. Let's, uh, put our SCVs nearby, because, of course, they're going to be supplying a lot towards, uh, healing our units whenever they do need to be healed. In the meantime, final attack force is pretty much ready to be go. Kerrigan is still working with that structure, but she's almost completely destroyed it. I would really, really love to fly past- hey, look, a blizzard sign! That's- that's a funny easter egg. Um, I would really prefer to just, like, fly past her, but I don't really know if that's going to be, uh, all that safe. Because I don't know how many anti-air stuff that they're going to be having. C clearly, Kerrigan actually needs to walk to get there. So, honestly, at this point, I think my biggest hope for, for, um... This current mission is that she's going to be distracted by at least one more building. It do Yes, she is. Awesome. Okay, then. Then this should not be much of a problem. We need to take down that thing right away. Why does the medevac have a unit? And which... Uh, who's who's being attacked? This medevac... Get, get back, get back, get back. Oh, awesome. We saved it. That was a little bit scary. But we actually ended up uh, holding out okay right there. So now we just need that thing to get healed. And then we can continue moving on. Like I said, guys, my micro has been very, very bad in this mission, but all in all, hopefully my micro will be a hell of a lot better than it has been in the past. Like, that right there is something that I totally would not have done, uh, done well in the past. So now this one's getting hurt. Okay, they should be all okay now. Um, all pretty much good to go. Cool, cool, cool. Let's take down this one next, then. Oh, God. Okay, just select them all. Go, 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 my friend. Cool. Cool! This is like the ultimate attack force! This is going so well for us right now, and we're almost there. The building is right there, Mobius, uh, Mobius Foundation. Destroy structures! 
stop picking up units, please. I really would prefer it if you wouldn't do that. It's uh, kind of a bit of a nuisance. I think I'm like accidentally clicking them. Should we destroy Kerrigan's Swarm's base? I kind of want to do that. I don't care about the Mobius Foundation buildings. Just destroy the Zerg base. Makes me feel more like a man. Destroy the base and then we'll go ahead and dis uh, destroy their own building as well. Because once that thing's gone, uh, their offensive uh, force is going to be pretty much null and void for the most part. We could even get rid of some of their wee little hatchling eggs, egg things that are, uh, that are starting to spawn. It's only gonna be Zerglings that are be coming out of there for the most part, I'm pretty sure, but you know what, there's, there's no reason not to go ahead and do that. And now, this building should pretty much be made, uh, mincemeat. We got a couple Nidus Worms coming in, but we're gonna be faster! Oh god, so many attacks! We did it! Confirmed. The final data core has been destroyed. We should evacuate immediately. I agree, let's get out of here! Yeah, mission complete! Alright, Doc. You want to tell me why the Queen of Blades wants these artifacts so damn bad? She fears their power, just as she fears the Zelnaga who created them. The Zelnaga created both the Protoss and the Zerg, Commander. They were the gods of their time. Who created humans? Evolution? Prometheus? I have no idea what that species is actually called in that movie. Plus, I love how the human race is like pretty much created, um, because I, I believe that that guy was supposed to be like the first human at the beginning of the movie. It's been forever since I've seen that movie. By that guy like pretty much committing suicide. He's like, oh, you know what? I'll just go ahead and kill myself. Oh no! I could have rescued more forces. Should have explored the map a bit more, but that's okay. Locates all Mobius survivors in the mission. Okay, yeah, so that's that's that thing right there. That's perfectly fine. Let's go ahead and see what's to come after all that. Then, oh, I always forget about the loading screen. That mission was surprisingly tricky. Um, I think um, the majority of it was definitely due to just bad micro on my part. But it's been a really long time since I played as the Terrans, believe it or not. it's It's been forever since, um... I've recorded a lot of uh, these videos, StarCraft 2 videos, and most of the ones in that time have all been Protoss missions, as you guys know, of course. Welcome to New Gettysburg! Oh shoot, is that- This is Kerrigan. We've neutralized the Protoss, but there's a wave of Zerg advancing on this position. We need immediate evac. Belay that order. We're moving out. What? You're not just gonna leave us! All ships, prepare to move away from Tarsonis on my mark. Oh, that poor, cute little hydralisk. It's so adorable. Boys, how about that evac? Damn you, Arcturus. Don't do this. It's done. Helmsman, signal the fleet and take us out of orbit. Now. Commander. Jim? What the hell's going on up there?
Oh god, poor Kerrigan. I've been cleaning up after you a lot lately. Leave it alone, Matt. Same dream? I said, leave it alone. What happened to Kerrigan wasn't your fault. Which part? Was she got left behind? Or was she murdered eight billion people? Same old bullshit. You ain't gonna listen. See what you're becoming? We are who we choose to be, Matt. When you figure it out, let us know. We're waiting on you. All right, man, man, poor Kerrigan. I cannot imagine what it would be like to be in that situation. The sure amount of, like, hopelessness she must have been feeling there. Hopelessness and despair. But, anyways, we'll just have to uh, figure out what we can do about all that to save her, since she's apparently the last hope for all life as we know it. But, anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you all for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, a comment, and or subscribing if you have not. I am the Egg Scrambled Gamer, and I will see you all next time.